When I, I talk to people about systems thinking, uh, thinking and ways of thinking differently when a problem is complex, for me, m the personal indicator of success is when you kind of see the light bulb go on and people get it. And um, although I often am speaking to them in theoretical ways for which we don't have a lot of evidence or measurements, you can see the light go on. And I'm always impressed at the, the breadth of individuals who can actually get the ideas uh, and, and have that light go on. Even more important is when I see them enacting on, on or acting on some of those ideas, I think, wow, this is fantastic. We've really made progress in trying to address some of our complex problems. Well, it, it's more than outcomes. What it is, uh, ironically, uh, very often is the pushback you get from the system itself. Um, that means you're perturbing the system in some way, you're upsetting the status quo in some way, and that means you're having that all systems effect. Um, so when I led on the development of guidelines in public health at NICE, um, it was the pushback from the alcohol industry, from the advertising industry, from vested interests of all kinds, sometimes from the politicians themselves. Um, because it meant we were disturbing the system by the kinds of recommendations that we wanted to make and we recognised as being evidence-based ways to bring about prevention of illness and disease. Um, now I work in health inequalities. Um, in an academic sense, the pushback comes not from politicians but rather from academics who like to work in disciplinary silos and the fact that we're trying to do a total systems approach on health inequalities means that we're upsetting the boat um, among the vested interests of particular disciplines. Well in Prevention Tracker, one of the measures of success is that we've been working with communities to apply systems methods and processes to better describe or understand the nature of the prevention system. And the idea of doing that is to identify new insights and ways of understanding the local prevention systems, but also to identify a key local problem that will be the focus of future work and further work with the Prevention Tracker. The exciting thing from the perspective of the Prevention Centre is that in both communities, rather than identifying conventional health problems to address, such as physical activity or smoking, for example, both communities have identified uh, issues to do with collaboration as some of the key issues to address locally. And that's pretty exciting for us because um, that is work with the community where they've identified a systemic problem to address in order to benefit all future prevention efforts.